So this is the Timepix chip. It was developed by the Meripix 2 collaboration. It's composed of a matrix of 256 by 256 pixels. And each pixel is only sensitive to pulses of charge which arrive inside the individual pixel. So if you expose this um, detector uh, in the room, you'll only see the background radiation in the environment. But equally, if you have some kind of radioactive source and put it on top, you'll see the pattern which results from the interaction of the particles of the radiation with the sensor matrix. If the detector is exposed to, say, high energy photons, those create Compton electrons, which turn out as kind of little worms or squiggles in the, uh, in the detector image. If you expose it to soft X-rays, like um, an iron source, for example, 6 kV photons, you see dots on the image. And if you expose the detector to, say, alpha so an alpha source, then you'll see big blobs on the, on the image. So it's, um, it's a very intuitive way of understanding what radioactivity is, and it's something which could kind of replace the Geiger counter, especially when teaching children about radiation in the environment and uh, in, uh, around us. So the chip is used in, uh, in schools. In particular, there's a, a, an institute for research in schools, which was founded just uh, last year by Professor Becky Parker. And there they have a number of projects which use the Timepix chip for teaching about radiation in the classroom, in the environment, say in the fields around the schools, or even in space. So they have a number of these detectors on a satellite which are beaming down uh, data to the, uh, to the schools for analysis by the, by the school kids. There are plenty of other applications of the Timepix chips. Uh, among those are medical imaging, so you can make uh, even kind of X-ray histology of excised parts uh, from, uh, from an operation, for example. You can use a chip for time of flight mass spectrometry measurements of biological samples. It's obviously very good as a radiation detector and, and a radiation imager. And it can be used for things like um, uh, gamma and Compton cameras as well, or for the detection of electrons.